You might have missed this detail in One Punch Man. S rank superhero King is already shown in the episode 4 that is even before his actual debut in episode 10, when Hammerheads first got introduced in episode 4. You can see King is watching him along with the powerless civilian people. Did you know? After watching this scene in One Punch Man. This scene inspired thousands of people to work out instead of staying at home and watching anime. And I'm proud to say that I'm one of them a few years ago. Why Genos uses a normal flip phone instead of a smartphone? Genos is an advanced cyborg and has a body fully covered with metals. Because of this he can't able to control the touch sensors in the smartphone, so he uses the flip phone which has buttons in it. Also the wallpaper in the Genos' phone has his master Saitama in it. This shows us how much Genos loves his master. Saitama's baldy appearance is his actual monster form. I mean in every other anime the protagonist will have a cool and powerful final form. In Saitama's case his final god form is being a baldy, an emotionless form. In One Punch Man world many people obtain their monster form in a very strange way. For example, in Mr. Crab's case, he became a literal crab monster because he ate too much crab. In Lizard Man's case, he became Lizard Monster because he loved reptiles so much. And Saitama wanted to become a hero that can send monsters flying with only one punch. A superhero who could send rotten villains like you flying with one punch. And he did a rigorous workout that he reached a point where all his hairs fell out. But why would exercise cause such hair loss? It wouldn't, right? The answer is Saitama became a monster and this is his new monster form. Comment your thoughts about this. How did Saitama got his power? Every humans have a thing called a limiter. It is a theoretical barrier that restricts the physical growth of a being. Genus a scientist in One Punch Man. Coined this term limiter to explain how Saitama obtained strength. According to his theory, God placed a growth limitation on every being to prevent them from losing purpose. No matter how much one grows, they will eventually hit this upper limit where there is no potential to develop further strength. However, it is possible for an individual to remove their limiter, which results in the development of a measurable strength and the individual will lose an important thing. In Saitama's case he got the immense power and lost all his emotions. And hair. Comment your thoughts about this. Why in One Punch Man all the characters except the protagonist have a well-written superhero origin story? In every other anime the protagonist's origins would be more painful than the other side characters. But in this anime the origin stories are reversed. I'm not saying that Saitama got his powers by doing nothing, he worked so hard for it. But his story is not as painful as other characters. Also except Saitama all the other characters have a dreams to fulfill and most of them lost their family members. So they fight so hard to protect the people they love and do good to others. But in Saitama's case his family is still unknown. But Saitama lost a main human thing that that the other people didn't lost, his emotion. And hair. This may seem like a lazy writing but this unique lazy writing is what makes this anime a masterpiece. What is the role of Genos in One Punch Man? Genos is a S-rank powerful cyborg who became a student of Saitama after witnessing his true power. Genos wanted to become a powerful hero like his master Saitama. But Saitama is not interested or he really don't know what to teach him, because he is way too perfect than Saitama in every ways. Genos wanted to become strong like Saitama but Saitama wanted to become a true hero like Genos. We rather say the role of Genos is to make Saitama a better hero. Saitama learnt many things from Genos, he learnt how to be a true hero and how to handle things in a perfect way. And especially when Saitama was all alone, Genos was there to comfort him. From the beginning of the series Saitama didn't crave for more power, the only thing that Saitama wanted so badly is a friend. Why Saitama looks so simple and bald for a superhero? The writer Yusuke Murata wanted Saitama to look simple, because he didn't like the fact that all around the world superheroes look so cool and have an appearance like a Giga Chad. Flip too hard, damn it! He strongly believes that the hero's coolness comes from their spirit and not by their looks. Does Saitama need oxygen to survive? When Barros punched Saitama to space, Saitama takes a long time to realize that he is in space and then tries to hold his breath. As you know humans can't hold their breath in space, if you do, your lungs will explode because of the pressure. But in Saitama's case he far surpassed his human limits and shown like an immortal being. It is clearly shown that he didn't even realize that he is in space and also according to science, the moment a man enters the space, his oxygen would be sucked out of him because of the vacuum. From these informations I conclude that Saitama don't need oxygen to survive, or this whole scene is just a gag. Comment your thoughts about this. 
Why Saitama couldn't kill a mosquito? Here is my theory about it. Saitama is the most powerful character in the anime universe, am I right DBZ fans? I thought Saitama being unable to hit the mosquito is just a humor but it was not. When Saitama punches with a full force or a medium force his power makes him to push the air and destroys the opponent just like Deku's air force attack. In the fight with Genos you can clearly see the air is being pushed and the pressure destroys the mountains. Also in the fight with Boris Saitama made a serious punch that the clouds were pushed away. So when Saitama tries to kill the mosquito he subconsciously pushes the air along with the mosquito away. If you like this theory please hit the subscribe button for more crazy anime videos.